Previously on Daily Bread. People did it centuries ago without modern conveniences. I don't expect you to understand. Why should you? Okay, I think you're all forgetting one very important thing here while you're all setting up your summer camp. Who is going to protect us? We all need security 24 7. If we are more concerned for the body at the expense of our spirit and soul, what's the point? when the dinner's gonna be ready. Well, I guess, of course, okay. I never realized mayo was just egg and oil. Well, that's why you don't leave sandwiches out in the sun too long. Raw eggs will give you food poisoning. Uh, yeah, that doesn't look like any mayonnaise I've ever seen. But that gets me thinking. Tiffany, do you have a blender? Well, yeah, of course, but we don't have any electricity. Really? Is that still an issue? Just let me see it. Okay. I think I have a, an idea. Here you go. Do you mind if I take it apart for gears? Well, I mean, it's not doing us any good in the way it is, so sure. Thank you. Okay, guys, if she rigs us a blender, then she gets to be queen of the pump. She and Link have made our lives easier. That's for sure. Yeah, that's really easy. I'm gonna go check on the baby ducks after dinner. They keep trying to get in with the chicks. What's wrong with that? Aren't they bum like, maybe? Yeah. And chicks have to stay warm and dry, and that's like the water, so whether or not they like each other, they can't survive. <laughs> Those little things will imprint on anything. Do you remember your pet duck? Oh my gosh, wow, that feels like a lifetime ago. Wait, wait. You had a pet duck? How did that work out? That little thing would follow her all over the house, and whenever she'd leave the room, it would squawk like crazy. That's so adorable. <laughs> room, like, in the house? Yeah, well, then he got too big, and, you know, he couldn't be in the house anymore. No, he slept in my in my bathroom. Uh, we would take him on walks, and he would, like, line us up, and we'd walk in a row. It really That little duck, he would climb onto her lap, and then he would climb up onto her shoulder. It was just the funniest thing. Sounds like you were raising a parrot. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to it? Is it still around? No, the one night I leave the cage open. And I couldn't have been gone like, what, five minutes? And I come back and he's, oh, it was horrible. It's been like three years and I can't, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Nature can be cruel. Well, the year before the same thing killed their chickens. Oh, wait, how do you know? I would think it was a raccoon. That's what they do, they just bite off the head and leave the body. That's how she found her duck, still alive and flopping, without its head. <laughs> Oh, Tiffany, what's for dinner? What? Dad? Well, this is the first meeting with co-op. Pray that there are no issues. I have no idea what to expect. Okay. Have them make a list of all the needs and circulate it to the group. And tell them to let the kids know their lessons are still due. That's right. Keep it normal. No drama. No drama. I teach drama. <laughs> After your kids are done moving the cows, have them feed the horses and check the cistern. Okay. okay. All right. We're good. 
Okay, you guys, so kneading is a really important skill that truthfully, I think that everyone in this house should have. So, okay, obviously we have to get our own water, all right? So we're gonna pour two cups of water in here. Make sure you're paying attention, Tommy. <gasps> okay, and we're gonna pour the water in this bowl here. And in a minute, I'm gonna show you how to prep the outdoor oven. It's rustic, but it works. We're heading to the Buchanan's after dinner. Yeah, you know what Avery told me? The bath gets packed. Do you give them my best? My best. There's none left. Keep these clothes at all times. These are the signs of the cannons. <laughs> it looks like Tiffany chose the color. All right. Great. Well, I feel like little red ready. Leave it to Tiffany to make this pack of picnic basket for Armageddon. Yeah, you know what you should do? You should write the, the kids like a princess story or something. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want to yeah, princess? Yeah, like a play or like a story? A book, maybe? A play? Yeah. Do you want to do music? Yeah, that would be really fun. Can they get a musical? Yeah. Every story distraction. Couple weeks ago, we were all strangers, living our separate lives. Now, like Tiffany's ingredients that sit alone on the counter, we've been thrown together, mixed into each other's lives in order to survive. And now we're all necessary in this recipe of life. So I read about this happening from an ENP and they said only about 10% survive. It's about 600 million. That's still a lot. But who, don't you think about your family? Family's in Mexico. I doubt they missed a beat. Point, you guys don't have electricity? You would be surprised how many countries don't. Our village was so small, they'd ration it. Wait, so you've carried buckets before? I've done a lot of this before. I hated it then and I hate it now. Okay, put your flowers on these. It's a sign for Mr. Buchanan. He's a pretty good shot. Something's not right. Come on. Look, we should just kill them and move on. Why? Because they don't have any food? That's not why we're here. Besides, who are they going to call, 911? See, that's my point, Mike. Look, man, time's changed, all right? Look, it's just, it's just an old couple in there, man. Who cares? I care, because I'm not a murderer. And I like to think that if three guys broke into my house with my family, yeah. They will show them the same compassion and mercy that we're going to show this family. Go check on Richie, all right? Do your way. Dude, ain't got nothing there, man. 
Got some soup. Hey, got GP for Richie. <laughs> hey, let's go, man. There are three men over there. They have the Vicanas tied up. I'll take the front. You take the back. Avery, you cover us. Okay. Wait here. Laura, be careful. You too. Hey, Mike. Hey, you got no food, man. Ooh, we got some medication. medication. Whoa. Put your hands up right hey, hey, All right, all right. Untie them right now. Relax. Uh, 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 uh. Nips, I wouldn't do it if I were you. I would suggest you listen to her. Molly, take care of their guns. Ladies, let's Now, go. untie them! Okay, okay, okay. Calm down. Go into the kitchen while I take care of this. On your knees. Hey, you take our guns. How are we supposed to survive? You mean by killing people? Listen, ladies, we're in the same boat. I don't know what happened. The lights went out. It, it, it caught us all by surprise. We're just as lost as you. We are not lost. How convenient for y'all to be out here wondering where people can't call 911. What do you think? I think that they would have killed them if we hadn't come, oh, come in. Come on, come on. Whoa, 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 lady, look. Please, please, I wasn't going to hurt them, I swear. I promise I wouldn't hurt them, OK? I was just teasing, Saul. I was just teasing. That's not what it sounded like to us. Where did y'all come from, anyway? I mean, we've been all over this area. Did y'all come from down south? Don't worry about that. What we have to figure out right now is what to do with you. Listen, I have family, OK, in North Carolina, all right? I'm a family. Sit man. down and stay where you are. OK, all we're trying to do is get home to our family. You, you probably have family yourself. What have you heard? Jesus. <laughs> Heard everything. I mean, from the terrorist attacks to MP. I mean, it's the, it's the whole freaking world for crying out loud. Everything, everything is shut down. How are you eating? We were on a hunting trip when it happened. We didn't know for almost two weeks. We were just back out in the woods hunting, field dressing our game and, and eating, having a great time. Right. Um, we had no idea until we went out to our cars and then. And then none of them started. Yeah, we thought somebody was messing with us. So we just started hiking to the next town. Yeah, we, we got up. It, it's close town. Must have been, what, 40 miles? At least. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it was bad. Uh, All right, bad. Yeah, it was, it was real bad. I mean, we knew it was real bad when we seen this kid on the side of the road. And we, he's just sitting there, like, murmuring, like, um, um, this is, this is God's wrath, right. this is the end. And he was just in total shock, zombie mode, just just totally freaked us out. And he, he sat there just waiting for Jesus to come. Crazy guy. We asked if he wanted to join us, but he just smiled. And it was weird. We, we was asking him, like, hey, do you know, was this a terrorist attack? Did they, did they screw up and, and blow everything up? Yeah. <laughs> we, I mean, if you want world domination, you better let people know you're taking over. Right? I mean, I, I, we just figured it was probably like a, 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 a natural disaster thing or, or some unexplainable thing, like a, like a solar flare. That's what he said on the first day. How have you survived so long? And why are you here? Look, just, just relax. We're... We're doing the same thing everybody else is trying to do. We're trying to survive, okay? So, look, our families know we're here, and they know we can hunt. And we stayed another week hoping they'd show. They didn't show, though. So, wh where are you guys from? Uh-uh. No way. Let's just say we're guardian angels. What are we going to do with them? We can't kill them now. Oh, that's, that's rich. You went all moral on us? And all we did was just tie a couple old people up and tease about killing them. That was not teasing. We did think you were going to hurt them. <laughs> What's going to do anything? What do you know? It's frontier justice. It's about all we have right now. Just follow me on this one. Just what if, when we came in here, they were already tied up? Seriously? Don't blow smoke up my skirt. The question right now is what do we do with you, since we can't kill you now? Look, I'm not a begging man, but I'm asking you, I'm asking you, please, 
Please, just let us go. How do we know they won't follow us? I think it was the guys we have here. We have to follow them. Hey. Well, they've been gone a while. Yeah, I'm worried. Should we? I was just thinking the same thing. Get anywhere at all? Yeah. Quietly, though. This is a perimeter security. It looks natural. Okay. Come on. Where are they going? Just perimeter security. So you noticed it too? Yeah. Gosh! Tight. You've hit on your guns in three different spots. It's kind of like an Easter egg hunt. You remember those? Hey, if we see you again, we'll shoot to kill. Come on, man. Yeah. Let's just be calm. Lower the gun. Now tell me where you're trying to go. I'm sorry. I just don't know who to trust. I, I don't know where I'm going. To my sisters. Well, where did you come from? Northern Virginia. Fairfax County outside of DC. I, I've been on the road a week. It's all dead out there. Everything's black. You mean, you mean nothing's working? No lights? No cars? <laughs> Grandma! Who is this? Are you okay? Let's get back to the house. Let's go. Wait. Teach him. We need to tighten up that security. Let's go. Agreed. Hold up. Bring it in. Son, get back to camp. Condition orange. Nick, let's get the bikes. Go, Rod. We need to reevaluate the security plan. Once we're back, I'm sitting everyone down. How are the Buchanan's? A little shaken up, but they'll be okay. Hold it right there! This is private property! Yeah, ours. <sighs> nice one. Why are you out so far? You know the rules, Phil. Yeah, I know the rules. And the rule says if you're not back from the Buchanan's within two hours, I come looking for you. We were held up. I'll tell you at the house. Go home. <laughs> Do you think they'll be back? If Nora said they'll be back, they'll be back. No, the men. Don't, oh, baby. No, no. Everything's fine. It's all right. Good.
Gunfire. It was close. It's only one shot. Could be hunters. We can't take any chances. If there are gangs out there, we're sitting ducks. We need more security. And traps. You four come with me. You ladies, you dig up them traps we got last year. It's too risky with all these kids running around the camp. What if one of us gets hurt? What are we gonna do then? We'll make some maps. All right, everybody keeps a copy with them. And you don't go out alone. I just don't think the children should leave the compound with these traps out. But we don't have any choice. At least we'll get good warning if they try and come. It's not what I want. That's what we got to do. Let's get it done. Whoa. OK, sounds like we've all seen about the same. And word is, if it's not global, it's certainly national. How could you possibly know that? You don't work for the government. We kicked into the three-year plan already. Better to be safe than sorry. Yeah, we only planned for six months. I was about to re-up. We've always said if you're part of the co-op, we look out for it's each other. It's the government's job to take care of us, not yours. Miss Johnson, with all due respect, the government is made up of people like us. It's not a bunch of machines. Yeah, if it was, they'd be shut down, too. <laughs> <laughs> because all machines with electronics are pride. And the horses. You don't have permits to ride those on the road. That's illegal. And weapons around here with children. You all should be ashamed of yourselves. Aunt Bertie, best we get you home. It's getting late. Don't worry, honey. We'll take care of her. We'll all cut from our stashes. I don't need your help. I get my check every month. I can take care of myself. I don't think it's going to be uncommon. People living in denial. Yeah, but for how long? Once they get it, they're going to be just as hostile. Yeah, they'll figure out a way to make it our fault. <laughs> OK, OK. We've talked about transportation. Food, medical supplies, early growing. Fred, weren't you working on some kind of alternative fuel system using the garbage? Yeah, yeah, it's actually, it's, uh, it's almost finished. I just need to put a, a few more tweaks into it, uh, but uh, next time with me, it should be done. Dan and I have been working on communication. We decided that a relay system would work best. And Dan's got some maps. Yeah, absolutely. And we're gonna set up a midpoint signal. We can go by tomorrow and check it out and test it. Good. Uh, we're going to probably put in some kind of a bell or a gong system so word travels faster. Then you only have to go about half the distance. Sure. We've been working on a code system. One good thing, it's going to be quiet outside, so no air conditioners, engine noise. It'll be easier to hear the signal. Well, what about Haley? She just got her ham license. She should be in charge of communications. Well, uh, a license isn't going to do you much good without a radio. You don't have to worry about that. My grandpa hardened him before he passed. He had a duplicate in pieces, always kept spare electronics in the Faraday. Well, that's good news. Yeah, yeah. yeah it'd well. be great news if we could find somebody else with a working one. You know, I remember him fixing up a fellow down the holler a few years back. You know, he was sure we were going to hit by something. He got your grandpa to harden his system. Well, do you remember his name? Did your grandpa keep a log? Uh, yeah. I'd have to check that when I get back. Hey, isn't that against the law? What law? You saved the Buchanan's, by the way, from three men who were breaking the law. Yeah, but I mean, can't eat. Nora, I don't want to end up like that. It's weapons like this that keep us from becoming like them. I'm so glad you're okay. Look, about everything that happened yesterday, 
It's clearly too dangerous for you guys to be by the road. Please come back with us. And we have plenty of food. Really good food. I, I know that, and that's very sweet, but we have to stay here. Our kids, our grandkids, they may come back. We can't take the chance of leaving a note. Okay. Um, we're gonna come check on you once a week. And bring you food. That's very kind and most gracious. Here are two guns, some ammo. This one is really good for inside use. Isn't that illegal? <laughs> That's what Sophie said. Just keep it close. Keep the ammo in a pouch so we can get to it quickly. Keep it loaded and you'll be okay. Thanks. You girls be careful. You too. I don't know what I would have done. That is an amazing story. And those guys, that, that could have been horrible. But I wasn't even scared until it was all over. I just want to get home to my sisters. I'm just so tired. Dan will be back in a while. He may have some ideas on how to find your sister. Thank you. I can't believe I broke into your home and pointed a gun at you. I I've never even held a gun before. Was I even doing it right? I don't know. That was my first time, too. Dan insists on keeping him around, and... and you proved him right. And speaking of... Why don't you wait right here? Hey, Dan. This is Holly. She's traveling from the D.C. area. She's trying to get somewhere, but she's not sure where that is. You alone? Yes. I mean, there were a couple of others, but... I'm just trying to find my sister and her prepper husband. Prepper, huh? Well, they are. Not me. I just... Trying to survive while I look for them. So we're here. Mm -hmm. Mom said you came from here. You heading southwest? That's what someone told me to do. Well, what do you remember? I mean, how many times have you been there? Remember any landmarks? Well, that looks familiar. I mean, the closest town to them had this cute little town square. It had a statue in the center of it of a pioneer woman. I, um, my brother-in-law, he has a weapons store there. Pioneer Square, I think that's it. Who'd you say your brother-in-law was? Bubba, I mean, his real name's Robert, but everyone talks or calls him Bubba. <laughs> Bubba sold me this gun. It works okay, right? Oh yeah, it's great, it's great. You get back there, you'll be fine. Oh, thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. And there is no hurry for you to get back on the road. That's only a couple days' journey on your bike. You stay with us until you get your energy back, okay? And I'll map out a safe route for you, now that we know where you're going. Is it for me? Yeah. I noticed you haven't chosen a gun yet. What do I need a gun for? There's not much going on in the kitchen. Why do you not in the kitchen? Yeah, but I have you. I'm so sorry. No, I'll see if she's right. So we're not always going to be there. You need to learn to protect yourself. Yeah, but that's what we have the buddy system for. As long as I have a strong buddy with me, everything will be fine. But you can just put that on someone else. What if they need you? No! Nora, no! I said I don't want a gun, okay? I'm uncomfortable with them. They scare me, all right? And the noise really freaks me out. I don't want one. Hey, we just want you to be safe. Hey, Nora can show you how to use one. Hey, look at me. Did you ever think you'd see me like this? Get down now. Stay focused. Let's go.
orders. Tiffany? Come on, let's get you inside. Come on. Okay. How are you guys? Jen and Joe. Oh, oh, hi, Tiffany. Hello. Oh, honey. Oh, 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 wait, so you didn't get home. Uh, oh, no. Carol, Dory, Avery would be glad to have you back. Oh. You should see her trying to milk those chickens. <laughs> Man, we're glad to see you. Yeah, 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 you too, sweetie. I got back just about the time it all went south. We couldn't figure it out at first, and then by the time we did, scavengers hit us pretty bad, and they showed no mercy. I mean, people that we have known for years were acting like savages. We knew we had to get out of there, and uh, we barely did because... Uh, after they found out that Harold got this whole truck working. <clears throat> hey, kids, you know your chores. Get get down to the barn, okay? I, I just don't want to talk about all that in front of them because it's been really hard on them. Of course. Well, they just pull some fresh bread out of the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany's in teaching mode, so you know we'll have bread coming out of our ears. <laughs> We're just glad you're safe. Thank you. So, have you all heard from your parents, Nora? Yeah. Uh, uh, last time we checked, they were filming in South America. I don't remember. Okay. Hey, look, um, the house is pretty packed by all of us being in there. Do you mind taking the barn apartment? Oh, no, I mean, the yeah. house like a second home to the kids. We'll, yeah. we'll be fine. Right. You don't worry about a thing. We're going to get this place running, no problem. I see you got plenty of help here. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. hey, it's okay, okay? Nora has got things under control. I thought for sure we were going to lose her today. And what happened? You guys disappeared. Yeah, she started hyperventilating. Nora, she is not ready for any of this. She's got to get ready because this is moving fast. Those guys yesterday at the Buchanan's, there's probably a thousand of them out there trying know, to survive. She's got to get it. And she's got to carry. That's just not an option. Okay, dinner's ready. I have something really special planned tonight, so come on and get it. Okay. Okay, remember what we said. Stay off the main roads, us we're safe at night, no fires. And here. Oh, oh, I've never shot a gun. I, I can't take that. You ever played video games? It's kind of one of those aim and shoot things. But to be honest, you just show someone that you have it, they're going to back down. If they're smart. <laughs> See this right here? That's the safety. When it's red, it means it's hot and it will fire. I Meaning if you put your finger on this trigger, it will shoot. This right here is where the magazine goes. This lever here drops it out. That's for reloading. OK. be good to go. Magazine, huh? I remember reading those. <laughs> it's a new world. Man. But you'll get used to it. Trust me. <sighs> okay. 
Oh, I almost forgot. I must be the new Pony Express on uh, on a bike. Third one I'm delivering. <laughs> Let's see my, my other son. He lives near the city at that address. Oh, older or younger? Older, by a minute. Yeah, they're twins, but they couldn't be more different if they tried. Well, thank you for your hospitality. You saved me. OK. Thank you. And you girls, you guys be good for uh, your grandma and dad, OK? Hey, Holly. Oh, bye, bye, Holly. Bye. Tell Bubba who said hi. I just can't believe I left it there. I could have supplied them. I could have done something. Nora! They... I just saw the Buchanan's. Jason, I was wondering where you were. My dad dropped me off with them uh, to make sure they were okay. We haven't seen them since the hit. They told me everything. You guys are awesome. Well, this one saved the day. I was a nervous wreck. Oh, no, you wouldn't have known. It was a team effort. We're just thankful that we made it on time. Well, we're glad that you guys made it out safe. Your mom was filling us in on everything. Yeah, we couldn't believe it. People who've known our whole lives just acting crazy. How have you guys been? Well, we're pretty isolated, so we've been good so far. Not isolated enough. We have a bunch of stragglers. Yeah, but they work hard and then don't eat that much. We can help with that. My mom's been dying to get back into the garden. Jason! Ah, that's her now. Be sure to tell me the full story when I get back, though. Sure will. We should get back. the trap set. Everybody gets a map. Keep it with you at all times. Now, you kids, be careful playing out there. These things can kill you. Let's go. We're going to show you where the traps are and how to spot them. Come on, you can move both between us. Everything's going to be OK. I, I'm not so sure about it. I, I really don't think I should go back in there. But it's for your own good. If you get your leg caught, you could die. It'll be fine. Come on. Let me take you. 